There's always hope. There's always more that's out there, mm -hmm. and you just have to look for it and go for it. You know, it's it's not easy picking up and going to another country, um, but if you don't do it, you'll never know. Hello. You know, when the first time we did stem cells, we didn't know if it would do anything Hello. at all. We didn't know if we were throwing money into the wind, but we knew that we had to take a chance, and it paid off. Hi, my name is Eddie Streck. Uh, this is Caden. He is 11 years old and he has cerebral palsy and he has optic nerve hypoplasia and apraxia of speech. He's had it since birth. Um, his birth mother was an addict and he was born very premature. So it's uh, right from the beginning. Cerebral palsy is very um, different depending on every person is different. Um, with him, it mostly affected his lower body and his left arm, so he um, he couldn't he couldn't sit up, he couldn't walk on his own, he couldn't um, you know do things like go to the bathroom and feed himself. And he, because he was blind, there was obviously a lot of limitations with being blind and being unable to walk. I can tell you a lot about the changes we experience through stem cells. We had, this is our second course of treatment. Caden was not able to, to see before. The most probably significant moment after the treatment was only 48 hours after our first treatment. We were on Skype in China and I was on Skype with my husband and normally he would be in the room just listening to what was going on. He crawled up to the computer screen and put his hand on the screen and said, Daddy, and we realized that he was already starting to see him. So, Good. And that was 48 okay. hours after the first treatment. His vision was about 2,800 in one eye and 2,600 in another. He's at about 2,040 now. Um, he can see very well for about five feet, and everything has changed because he can see things now. He's starting to read words. He's, you know, he's talking about all these things he sees, but the other big thing that we really gained was speech. He said about 10 words. Three years ago, he said 10 words. So now I stopped counting at about 2,000. He says four and five words together. He's talking all the time about his favorite things. So um, the speech was a really unexpected Bye. bonus. We weren't um, expecting to get yeah, it, and it's been Bye. amazing. So what comes first, the vision or the communication? We don't know, but uh. that changed everything. And uh, he can stand himself up when he's walking. He can go into the bathroom and go to the bathroom on his own. He can feed himself now. He can drink out of a straw. So major, major changes. It's been astounding. It's amazing how far we've come in just a short amount of time. My thoughts on one of the things that Baker does very well is combine a lot of programs. One of the things we looked at when we were looking at stem cells is there's a lot of places that don't do combined therapy. They don't give a functional medicine approach. I believe that the extensive amount of therapy that they give is just helping those cells to, to do what they need to do. And the, the approach to therapy and getting everything, the PT and the OT and the aquatic, I feel from the first time we went that part of what really helped the cells to be successful was the combined approach. There's hope. We didn't get our results immediately. Most of our results immediately, they came much later and they kept going and going and going and he does more every day. It's, it's exciting and just to, just to keep up that hope and keep up the, the possibilities that are there. That there, there are other choices out there than just accepting what, oh that their condition can't change. Bada bee, bada ding. That's right. Better being better Caden. That's right. <laughs>